a soggy and wet Thursday evening. Before I leave for the day, I wanted to drop into the site to give you a tour. Uh, Friday, of course, more work uh, will be ongoing, but uh, this video needs to get up on the email and the website uh, before the weekend. So let's take a look around at uh, what's been happening. First, I guess I'll say hello. <laughs> Good to see you all. I hear there's some conversation about the length of my beard, but you know, there's no playoffs to watch in hockey, so it's, it's my construction beard. That's what we'll call it. Let's take a look. So as you can see, the, uh, the walls are starting to take shape. We have a lot of uh, scaffolding up right now. We're still uh, without walls, just the foundations and leveled off ground here in the office section. We keep walking around. I don't know if these were present in the last video, but these towers are where they get the mortar uh, and the fill for the uh, block walls that they've been building. Lots of movement on this machine here. So again, this is uh, the rectory entrance that's uh, still taking shape and then the uh, garage next door to that. You can see the uh, storage area they're using over here is always getting little deliveries, uh, big deliveries of blocks and steel and different things. All right, so we're walking up what uh, will eventually become the laneway. Uh, in and out of the church parking lot, which is adjacent to the school yard parking lot, of course. I'm just walking around the outside of this building. Uh, it's hard to get a shot of it on camera showing it all. But let's try to see what we can show from Emerson Street. There we are. So you can see back down the laneway and around where we just walked, and then the front facade here on Emerson Street. See, it's a good bit of distance uh, back from Emerson itself, and there'll be some bike racks and different things uh, in front, and then uh, of course the, the sidewalk, and a little bit of garden area in front of that. Oh, my car's going to get all muddy, I'm walking through the muck here. All right. So, I wanted to walk all the way over here because I wanted to show you this entranceway, uh, which is of course the new Emerson Street doors. And we're going to wrap around, lead to a wrap around uh, the church here. So it's a great space. You can see the windows in the, um, in the section that's been built. A lot of well be student center and meeting rooms. They're large windows. You don't get perspective from this, but they're eight feet high. Each one of them about four feet wide. And then there's this great corner window here. So that'll be the same for all the windows around uh, the project. So lest I trip, let me uh, hit pause and I'll meet you on the inside. Okay. The ground is a little less muddy in here, I got through. And so we're looking, of course, at the Emerson Street entrance from the other side. You can see this uh, doorway is the same. These holes they've just been drilling in the wall here today are for uh, heating and water and, and so on that are going to come from the church basement. This is going to be, uh, they call it a dog house. It's going to be a chase that goes up the wall uh, for all those uh, pipes to go up and then to go over and into the new uh, center here. This wall was just built today on Thursday, and it's the wall that of course completes this uh, side entrance section. Um, we'll go back through there, but I want to walk this way first because you'll see as we walk around, then we enter into what used to be the meeting room here and into the side entrance of the church. So uh, these walls along here will be completed uh, soon enough. These pipes you see coming out of the ground are well, this, this gray one is, I believe, electrical going up to the second floor, rectory, and then the pipes in the ground are because this section is a little janitor's closet in the corner. This wall here, if we turn around, uh, leads into the new washrooms. The four washrooms that are going to be spaced through here, so you can see again the pipes coming out uh, through the ground in this section. If we look deep enough in there, there we go. All right, and then we go back here, this second uh, doorway is for the barrier-free washroom that's going to be put in place. Those two washroom doors there, you can see. And then we have this nice big double door with the uh, glass side light next to it, which is the entranceway uh, to the new student center. So let's walk in together. Be careful. Back in my head. There we go. All right, so we're just inside. It's incredible to see these walls taking shape. Uh, this is a lounge space. You can see the block wall walls are all so nicely done. And then this is a meeting room. There are going to be walls built here, uh, not out of block, but just out of steel studs. 
And then uh, in this area, there's going to be a new kitchen here, a new storage room back there. And then uh, this is, of course, just looking back at the entrance area, and there'll be some coat racks and so on through there. Uh, oh, I should say where the scaffolding is standing, there also is a library that's going to be put in there that'll be attached to the, the student center area as well. And finally, we go into this back room. There's two doors leading into it, and that's because hopefully there'll be a divider down the center here to go right, meet up right in the middle of those windows. And you have two big meeting rooms back here. There are two meeting rooms that can become uh, one. There's so much to go over to show you. Um, right now you can see through walls, quite literally, because the walls aren't there. And so actually seeing through this wall leads you into uh, the rectory garage and the rectory mat, um, main entrance just next to it. I've really been enjoying watching uh, the Masons work. Some of you might know that for a few summers during my own university years, I worked on a construction site. I worked as a laborer for bricklayers. Uh, and so it's hearkening back to those days uh, though this crew seems to have a few more of the fancy tools than we had. We mixed all our mortar by hand. They have these uh, these towers that help and scaffolding's all real nice. So just really great to see their work, their craftsmanship. Uh, continue to be impressed by all those who are contributing to our project. So much to show you up here. So uh, I hope that gives you a little idea of where we're at. And we'll come back outside in a couple of weeks to show you probably by then all of the walls uh, that'll be completed and we'll be uh, moving on to the second floor probably by that point. All right, so I'm walking towards the uh, church hall. Let's go down there and take a look at what's happening. Hey, welcome to the church hall. Um, again, seemingly not too much has been happening down here, uh, but they have been hard at work. Um, there are many of the details that can't quite see as obviously. Uh, still, the electrical work you know, continues on the, on the ceilings and, and through uh, the duct work. One thing you will notice is that the bulkhead here um, has been uh, drywalled along the top here, and that goes all the way along and around and back up. So that's uh, quite something to see, see a little bit uh, being closed in. They've also been working on the edges of the walls um, at the ends of the hall here and on the sides uh, where you can see the extra drywall has been placed in. I'm not sure if I showed you that last time, gained a bit of ceiling height. Uh, along this whole area so the, the ceilings will be nice and even throughout the whole hall uh, with the exception of the center section that's being raised up. We'll also see in the uh, sides here not too much yet uh, they will be getting to the framing um, but for now just the, uh, the drywall at the top of the ceiling. And it's not painted green down here that's just the reflection of the, uh, the lights I just turned on uh, at either end. Now, things are a little bit dark as we go um, towards the uh, accessible washroom and the uh, men's and women's washroom, which is to say they, they have been working on those areas. All right, I'm going to walk down to the far end. I'll meet you there. Okay, so this just happened uh, yesterday that uh, we had our restaurant people here and they've begun to remove some of the equipment down here. So they're removing the equipment. We're, we're not doing very much work uh, here, just some uh, wall finishes and so on, but it meant that all of this had to be removed so that it could be uh, then reinstalled. So it is interesting to see the kitchen space uh, without anything, well, without, with some of the things taken out, they'll return uh, probably uh, tomorrow, Friday, or early next week uh, to finish up the rest. So that's happening. Of course, this is a storage room over here. And uh, one interesting thing is the fire panel that's being uh, put in over here. You see the wires are starting to grow. I'm not sure, again, if I showed you this last time, but the uh, entrance into the electrical room has been closed off on this side because on the other side uh, they've, uh, they've made it pass through. So let me go over there and I'll show you what's happening. All right, so going into the mechanical room on the other side. This is what was just done today. They've cut up the floor here. I assume that's for new drains for the boilers and so on that needs to be uh, put in here. Let's see if I have a light in this room. I hope so because there's, yeah, there we go, good. So this is the, the ordinary electrical room and I showed you the closing up of that door. It was there before, but it's what's just behind that door now. It's kind of interesting. And that is all these massive pipes that are coming in from the street. They've made the water connections on the street and closed everything up. That took a, a few weeks to get done. And this, I believe, I'm not certain, is the, um, the line that's going to go to an outdoor um, fire uh, 
fire connection, fire hose connection, uh, so that in the event of a fire, there's a, a local connection right here on our building. All the fire, uh, other uh, electrical panels and so on, remain, remain uh, similar. So this door I just walked through is the one that they cut in so that this uh, both rooms are, are now accessible uh, to one another. All right, one last room in the basement to show you, and then we're all finished. Okay, the last uh, room that I want to show you, leading from the hall here, is into the old uh, storage area. I think we came down here before, but they've finally removed some of this supports, so you can see uh, this room not finished, but getting there. So they used to were jacks holding up the ceiling here for quite a while. Now you can see uh, these uh, pillars uh, that have been put in place to support uh, the addition upstairs and the uh, elevator room back there. It's taking shape, the water's leaking in just because of the rain today. That'll all be sealed up eventually. One of the things I really like is these new lights. This is uh, work that's been ongoing and uh, they work now and it's nice to get some light down here. They've also added in this beam that's across here and that's to support the floor of course above since that wall was actually moved out from its previous location. You get an extra foot. I think the old wall was about right here, along there. You can see all that. All right, so that uh, completes our tour uh, for this week, uh, for now, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of what's going on. It's an exciting time for our community. It's an exciting time to see uh, something really being built up and from the foundations, uh, all the way up through uh, the walls that begin to take shape, uh, much like our own lives perhaps in this time a lot uh, is hidden, uh, but there is new life. There's uh, things that are growing forth. So we'll catch you uh, in a couple of weeks. Until then, watch uh, the website for further photos and so on as the work is completed each day and each week. And uh, I'll be in touch with you uh, through a video uh, to give you an update next. God bless. Bye-bye.